In this video, we'll consider the following question. Given that C is the product of A and B, how is the null space of the resulting matrix C related to the null spaces of A and B? To help us answer this question, I have written down a partial matrix product, where this is A, this is B, and this is two-thirds of the matrix C. Now, by simply considering dimensions, we're immediately drawn to the null space of the matrix B, because it is B that has the same number of columns as the matrix C. So their null spaces at least live in the same overall space, in this case, R3. And that is actually correct. The null space of C is related to the null space of B and completely unrelated to the null space of A. So let me, let me write down the symbols that represent these null spaces. Null space of B and null space of C. But what is the precise nature of the relationship between these two spaces? Well, in order to answer that question, I invite you to complete this matrix product. But I want you to do it in a very peculiar way. I want you to realize that you can complete this product by referring only to the entries of the matrix B. You don't even need to look at the matrix A. Do you see why that is? Well, it's because the third column of the matrix B is the sum of the first two. And therefore, the third column of the matrix C must be the sum of its first two columns. Why is that? Well, to understand why that is, we have to recall the uh, column-wise perspective on matrix multiplication. Where did this column come from? This column was a linear combination of the columns of the matrix A, where the coefficients came from right here, the first column of the matrix B. And where did this column come from? It's a linear combination of the same four columns of the matrix A, where the coefficients came from here, the second column of the matrix B. Now where will this column come from? Well, it'll be another linear combination of the same columns of the matrix A, where the coefficients will come from here. In other words, the coefficients of this last linear combination will be the sum of the first two sets of coefficients. And therefore, the linear combination itself will be the sum of the first two linear combinations. And that is why the third column of the matrix C is the sum of its first two columns. In other words, 60 and 101. Now, how does this help us answer the question of the relationship between these two spaces? Well, what we've actually observed is that whatever linear relationship there is among the columns of the matrix B, it will also be found among the columns of the matrix C. In this case, the third column of the matrix B was the sum of its first two columns, and therefore the last column of the matrix C was the sum of its first two columns. Therefore, whatever vector is found in the column, excuse me, in the null space of B will also be found in the null space of C. So the null space of B is part of the null space of C. Whatever is in here is also in here. Whatever relationship is found among these columns is also found among these columns. So this the null space of the matrix B is a subspace, is a subspace of the null space of the matrix C. Now, can it be, can the null space of the matrix C be actually larger than the null space of the matrix B? Because in this particular example, they are the same. They are in both cases, one, one, negative one, and one, one, negative one here. So in this case, the null space of B equals the null space of C. It is not its proper subspace. But could, the, could there be a situation where it is the proper subspace? Well, the answer is, of course, yes. And it depends on the matrix A. To give you one extreme example, if A was the zero matrix, then C would be the zero matrix as well. And its null space will be all of R3. So it contains the null space of B, but it's clearly larger. So what we're concluding is that the null space of B 
is a subspace of the null space of the matrix C. And in some cases, it equals the null space of the matrix C. And in some cases, it's smaller. But it is always a subspace of the null space of the matrix C.